like to start first by acknowledging the Jinnabara and Gubbi Gubbi peoples as the traditional custodians of this land on which we've um, done our photo shoot today and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and extend that respect to all of the beautiful Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women that are here today. I'm Daisy, um, I'm an Aboriginal artist and proud uh, descendant of the Murrawari people and my uh, great grandfather's country is in and around the areas of Burke in northwest New South Wales and my mob has a rich history of dot painting, emu egg carving and boomerang carving and my great auntie was a award-winning Aboriginal artist and some of her works are actually held in the Koori Heritage Trust in Melbourne, which is pretty special. Before um, pursuing my art career full time, um, my background is in fashion retail and visual merchandising. So I guess I spent um, most of my career making other people's brands and other people's products look pretty, but I always wanted that for myself and I didn't quite know how that would look or what that would be. And um, pretty much the moment I put paint to canvas, it, I just knew that that was my calling. Yeah, very special. I'm very blessed to have this gift. Dot painting for me is a deeply spiritual um, process. And a lot of my paintings um, and visions come to me in my dreams, in my sleep. And when I'm painting, I certainly feel guided by my ancestors, um, which is very special. And I, I definitely feel a sense of responsibility in, in the preservation of my culture. So I feel very lucky that people resonate with my art and want to invest in it and celebrate it. My art style is modern, contemporary and intuitive. So I paint the same way my ancestors did. I paint to express the way I feel about my life experiences. It's, it's like a therapy and a healing process for me. It's a way for me to feel connected to um, my identity and to the way I feel about um, Mother Earth, you know, the trees, the ocean, um, I paint a lot of the sun and the sand. Uh, I grew up on Bunjalung and Yugambeh country, which is um, northern rivers and Gold Coast. So obviously spending a lot of time by the ocean and in the warm climate, um, my artworks are often influenced and inspired by being by the sea. This collaboration is very special to me. Um, I feel very honoured and blessed to be a part of this wearable uh, art on fashion. Uh, I feel like it's a really cool way to um, incorporate storytelling and art into um, you know, being intentionally inclusive. Um, and I love that styling you uh, is Australian made and um, very much inclusive in their models and their sizes. Uh, women of all colours, all shapes uh, can feel like they are represented and celebrated. And um, I hope that the wearer feels really connected, really um, empowered and that they feel that sense of um, culture when they're wearing these pieces because that's what this is all about is um, you know the, the colours, the earthy tones, the connection, the story, having those conversations you know people asking them oh my gosh like tell me about this you know sparking those conversations is so important um, and celebrating our First Nations culture is amazing. When I painted Women on Country for Styling You, I really wanted the um, artwork to feel feminine, soft, earthy, soothing, 
Uh, I wanted it to represent women coming together as a community, um, yarning, uh, sharing knowledge, sharing stories, laughing, celebrating. Uh, you'll see in the artwork we have footprints, wildflowers, seashells, um, water, you know, the communities coming together. So not only are you wearing um, the art, but you're also learning about culture and celebrating those symbols and what they mean and um, wearing them, you know, really proud. It's a real honour to be able to make this donation to STARS Foundation. Um, the work that STARS Foundation is doing with our girls and young women in the Indigenous educational space is incredible. And I just feel that what they're doing is so important because these children, these young girls, these young adults, I should say, really are our future. And it's going to be up to them to feel like they've had the opportunities they deserve and that they're being educated in a way that feels real and comfortable for them where they can be connected to their culture and feel included and feel that um, you know that they're having the same experience and opportunities but being still connected to community connected to country um, having elders you know sharing sharing their knowledge and so their programs and um, their delivery of of the of the education is what they really do very well and I feel so lucky that we can support that and contribute to that and um, yeah very proud.